from verse 6 tells us this. And the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim, Put and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, say the sons of Cush. They are Siba and Avila, Sabta, Rama and Sabteka, and the sons of Rama, Sheba and Dedan. Are you following me? In other words, Cush now has two grandsons, Sheba and Dedan. You remember the queen of Sheba? You remember the queen of Sheba? Who went to visit Solomon? That is where Sheba comes from. That's why, where that queen is, or rather comes from. And uh, so verse 8, not and. Cush begat Nimrod. And Cush begat Nim Nimrod. Cush did what? Now that description is a description of an illegitimate birth. A child born out of what we conveniently call extramarital affairs, but out of adultery. Are you hearing me? That was Nimrod. And this guy, the Bible says, he was a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Whereof it is written, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And I was puzzled. I said, wait a minute. This man who built the tower that God said, uh -uh, let's go and destroy this thing. This scheme. You tell your neighbor, scheme. How come the Bible describes him as a mighty hunter, a mighty one before the Lord? It sounds a positive attribute. And I did my investigation. Those attributes are not positive. From the Hebrew Bible, they are rebellious, stubbornness, insubordinate, salient. idolatrous that is tale number two of Satan's schemes so in this tale chapter 11 of course his kingdom Nimrod's kingdom began to grow and the first city was Babel you say Babel the word Babel means confusion simple and that is the root of Babylon confusion wherever there is Babylon in operation confusion the order of god is twisted the patterns of truth is twisted confusion is cast over people to the extent that people begin to defend lies as opposed to defending truth confusion is embraced and defended because it is popular did you hear what i've said today there are so many popular uh, um, morally decadent vices in our society but popular and they are accepted what is that confusion babylon you know a man should marry a woman a man should not marry a man but it's fast being popularized that a man can marry a man a woman can marry a woman confusion that is babylon that is how babylon is this confusion, ladies and gentlemen, beloved of God, this confusion started a long time ago. The confusion is also in religion. It is called religious Babylon. This confusion <laughs> in Babylon started with Nimrod. You will notice in the book of Genesis, uh, Revelation, Revelation chapter 18, there is a final judgment of Babylon. Are you hearing me? Final judgment of Babylon. And the characteristic of Babylon there described in chapters 17 and 18. Impeccable. Unbelievable. Described as a woman. You say a woman. Dressed in scarlet robe. Covering herself with the sun and the stars. With the name on her forehead. The name, those are one of the few places in the Bible where you have capital letters written for emphasis. The name on her forehead is Mystery, 
Babylon, the great, the abomination of the earth. You tell your neighbor mystery. A mystery is something that requires revelation to unpack. Mystery is not understood through conventional patterns of understanding. No. Requires the Spirit of God to unpack mysteries and make it plain. There are certain mysteries that God kept from the foundations of the earth. Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 9, 10, 11. He says, there is a mystery of the fellowship of the saints in Christ, which was hidden in God from the foundation of the earth, but has been revealed in our day through Christ Jesus. And God's intention for keeping the mystery was, Paul tells us in verse 12, his intention was that now through the church, the many-sided wisdom of God may be made known to the principalities and the powers. Principalities and powers are satanic hierarchies, fallen angels. Those who knew wisdom, they thought they were wise because their master was the sum total of wisdom. God kept that mystery to himself. And he said, there is my last.